You know, I think it's impossible and unfair to rate something as emotional and human as a singing voice. If someone sings, they're singing, and that's it. If you want to rate my singing voice, come to my show and see how I'm singing, and then tell me what you think about my singing voice. It really depends on how I'm feeling each day. If I'm feeling sad, then maybe I'll sing slower, in a more mournful way. Or if I'm feeling hot and horny, maybe I'll sing in a more kind of R. Kelly way. In order to keep up a, a singing voice as powerful and as emotional as mine, I keep up a strenuous series of vocal and mental and physical exercises each day. And this enables me to project and to emote as much as I need to and, and I want to. When your job is to provide a voiceover for a computer game And you insist on singing all the time instead of speaking Then they fire you and they don't ask you back Of course everyone can learn to sing. Everyone can already sing. Stick out your tongue and go, Ah, uh, you're already singing. I take you through this in the show and tell you how singing came from monkeys to humans and how wonderful it is. In Glasgow, someone vomited in the middle of the show into their beer glass and kept it in front of them for the whole show and then left as if nothing had happened. Not so much a heckle, just a peculiar audience reaction. A song I would refuse to sing. Hmm. Some songs it's inappropriate for one to sing because one doesn't have a handle on the content and other songs one shouldn't sing because they sound horrible. I would say Zombie by The Cranberries, anything by Paul McCartney after 1978, and the wheels on the bus go round and round. I love talent shows. Who wouldn't? Who couldn't? Who wouldn't enjoy the pure pornography of desire? London, London, you don't need a mayor. I will never stop singing. Although the next show is about nuclear disaster. Stay tuned. <laughs>